Hello, in this video I'll show you how to add exterior walls to our already started project from our previous video. This is our elevations that we have created. Uh, we have the basement, entry level, level 1, and roof. We're going to go now into the basement, under the floor plans, into our project browser. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click the wall tool, and from here we're going to select uh, the lines under our modify tab and we're going to draw our retention wall which is in the properties as you can see um, so from here for the most part you'll be able to select any sort of wall so if you were to build uh, a separation between two rooms and you wanted just a generic you know eight inch or six inch uh, wall you'd be able to do that here so from properties we're going to select the retaining wall which we have already selected and we could for the most part draw anything we'd like so we're gonna go start from here and we're drawing from this wall center line so that means the way we are drawing is we're selecting exactly the center of the wall as opposed to the exterior or the exterior so we could do for the most part whatever shape we'd like we could actually even change the shape of the wall and make it um, radial in the sense that it'll be smooth and round uh, but we're just gonna make them straight for now and it doesn't really matter how big we make this as long as it still looks like a home or a basement so this is our first level basement and what we're gonna have here once you click this you'll notice that you'll be able to see the constraints of how high these walls go and you could generally do the do this as you're starting although I forgot so what we're gonna do is change it after the walls have been already made. So the top constraint simply states is that our wall will start on the basement for the base constraint and then the top constraint tells you how high up the wall will go. So we're gonna go up to the entry level which is the level right up above it and what we'll be able to see now when we go into 3D if you want to create a 3D view you go to view and click the 3D icon and as you can now see we have created our basement floor or our retaining wall now we're gonna go into entry level and you will see a ghosted face of the wall that's underneath and if you don't want to see that anymore you go into properties underlay which is right here and select none and that wall will disappear but we do need it right now just simply because we want the walls that we're putting on the second or our entry level to be directly above it so now what we're going to do is put a let's say eight inch masonry wall on top of the wall that we've already created we're creating still with the wall center line we're gonna constrain our hides this time around so instead of being unconnected we're gonna build to level one since we're all on entry level currently so we're going to start here, we're going to go to the end, click over here, and click over here, and click over here. As you can see the wall is exactly in the center of the wall underneath. And we could do either two things, we can move it to the outside, or we can move it to the inside. The way you would do that is you would use the align tool, and you'll click it right here it's under the modify tab also we're gonna click the wall outside first the first click is the property or the line that you would like to move an item to so we're gonna click the wall and we're gonna move this wall and you could select whichever surface it moves to that line so we're gonna click the edge so as you can see that edge hopped over to the front and we're gonna do that for all the four edges I'm just gonna do it quickly over here and one last one and there we go so now we have level our entry level complete and now we're gonna go on to our level one that runs up to the roof and here we could change it up a little bit and we're still gonna use the same wall we've had last time but maybe we'll alter the shape a bit so let's create maybe a balcony over here run this all the way to the front 
and uh, let's just finish it off normally without anything else to it alright so now we're gonna go on to and see what we've just created and here we go these are our this is our retaining wall um, and these are our regular floor walls so these will be above ground and this will be underneath so I'll see you in our next video